Hey, what's going on everybody? Servro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it looks like we just got an update on the whole glitchy pouch situation and also a hotfix coming in last minute, which I wasn't expecting. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video, you want to stay up to date with all things Dreamlight Valley related, be sure to hit that like, subscribe to the channel, and let's head over to Twitter and see what's going on. So they just made this post right here, it said a happy hotfix day. They made this like 12 minutes ago, so I don't know if they're going to add anything more. Uh, it says we're actively deploying a hotfix for all platforms. Please allow up to two hours for the hotfix to become available on your device. Now, starting off with the first, because they have like five parts to this. They said base game top fixes include Xbox players can now join a valley via their friends list. No code required. That's actually pretty cool. You you don't even have to input like a code or anything like that. You can just join through your friends list. The Forgotten House found their body again. I've seen a lot of pretty creepy looking um, pictures floating around on the internet with the Forgotten. So it looks like they resolved that issue. The Dapper Wally Dream Style hat is realigned, whatever that means. I haven't seen anything going on with that, but uh, I guess his hat's fixed. And then the Rose Eye Patch removed from Scrooge's store. Oh, so that was not intentional. The, the whole premium shop eye patch was not supposed to be in Scrooge's shop. I actually saw that in my store and I went ahead and purchased it, even though I already had the eye patch, but I thought it was on the opposite eye. So I thought it was like a new free item that they added. And then the expansion top fixes include visit the borderlands with the removal of an invisible wall. Okay, so I know exactly which one that is. We'll go take a look at that in just a moment. Uh, various grid issues are and stuck items on Eternity Isle. And then optimization of scramble coin AI and new difficulty indicator. What does that mean? Hold up, we got to check that out. Oh, okay, so yeah, if you go over here, like Remy, it says, do you want to play Scramble Coin? It says level one. Let's go find another villager. Um, we have Ariel here. Let's check her out. This is actually really cool. So Ariel is a level two Scramble Coin player. Anna was pretty good. She's got to be two or three. Let's see. She's level three. Okay, so I, I know I wasn't just bad. I know she was just like really good. Kristoff was really good too. He's probably four if it even goes that high. What level one? <laughs> okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Let's check out Nala. Nala was really good too. She was level one. Okay, it's confirmed. Suro's trash as as scramble coin. Let's see. We got Vanellope here. She is level three. Wow, that that makes sense. She's really intelligent. Uh, Olaf, he's level two. He's medium. Okay, okay. I know Goofy has to be level one. Let's see what Vanessa is. She is level two. Okay, so I wonder if there's a, if it shows if you go to your collections. This is a pretty cool update. I was not expecting to get this. Um, I was hoping it would show like over here. Nah, it's not. Their hangout bonus is saying a two by two, your companion can find more treasure when time bending. Why does it show two by two down there? That's really weird. Is that bugged out? Because it, it does not look like something that's like professional or supposed to be there. Hopefully they didn't mess with my time bending. We'll have to we'll have to look at that a little more later. Um Scar is a level three. So yeah, it looks like level three is probably the highest. We'll check out Merlin and see what his level is, because he's gotta be like the best. Um yeah. So Merlin, where's my boy? Here he is. Merlin. All right, so he's got to be level three then. Okay, that's confirmed. So level three is the highest. So one, two, and three. So now you guys know who's really good and who's not the best at Scramble Coin. Okay, and then it looks like they fixed the whole invisible wall at the Borderlands. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. Um, so whenever you spawned over here in the Borderlands, there's this path to go down here. You have to like break these things. But you would hit an invisible wall and now it looks like you could actually come down here and there's a chest so i'm gonna see what's in there finally let's go ahead and pick this up uh, get a little memory okay i've been wanting to know what's in this chest for a while i've been locked out from it it is yes 224 coins let's go 
<laughs> best fix of all time. Alrighty, so yeah, various grid issues and stuck items are fixed. Optimization of Scramble Coin AI and new difficulty is fixed. And then yeah, the expansion top fixes continued. The Capybara will now drop rewards after feeding. Villagers no longer sit together after playing Scramble Coin. Scramble Coin vs. Duties updated. Okay, so there was one that wanted us to play against Jafar. So I imagine it's something like that that they actually fixed, which is really good because obviously, no spoilers, but we just can't play against Jafar right now. Uh, many quest breaking bugs resolved. That is awesome. I hope if you guys had an issue, I hope it's fixed now. Make sure you log on as soon as you can and let us know if it's fixed. Various other fixes and improvements. Alrighty, so for additional fixes, see our Trello board here. Now here's something that is not the best news. It's good, but it's also not. They said a resolution for the glitchy pixel duplicate issues is planned for an additional fix planned for early 2024. It is the 20th right now. So we have like, what, 10, 11 days before the year is out. It says, thank you to all who've reported their issues and for your continued patience. So this means two things. It means one, maybe the team is out of office or they're about to be out of office for the holidays for the rest of the year. So they could be out now. They could be out starting tomorrow until the end of the year. So they're not going to have a chance to do this. I mean, we're all human. They're workers. They need time off too. So to spend time with family and all that. So that could be a reason or... They could still be in office and it's a pretty nasty bug that they're going to have to be careful that they don't end up breaking it more. So it's going to take a lot more um, work to be able to fix it without actually breaking everything else. And then it could take a little bit longer, but they said it's a fix is planned for early 2024. And um, yeah, they haven't mentioned anything about compensation yet. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll fix it. Uh, for now, I don't know. I mean, I know it's tough to, you're missing so much Dreamlight and stuff. But if you're still enjoying the game, definitely just keep playing. I'm sure that they'll get it all sorted and fixed and uh, compensate in some way. I don't know how they would, but uh, they could probably send some shards in the mail or, you know, send some moonstones or something. But at least it's on their radar and they said that it is planned to be fixed at the beginning of next year. So here's the board of things that they are working on. So here's stuff that's fixed, you, stuff that they're aware of over here, stuff that's not really an issue, and then stuff that they're actively working on right here. So crafting while using the glitchy duplicate causes materials to disappear. This is um, their top priority right now. Egg bushes are still present in the valley. This has been up here for a long time, so I'm not sure why this is on here. So is the Mother Gothel restoring the Sunstone quest. Um, yeah, some of these have been up here for a long time. Founders pack rewards are missing. So I don't think they fully updated their Trello board. And stuff they're aware of is also some like random quest. Critters do not drop rewards when fed, unable to use tools. So issues that are fixed, they have the time bending table price. The time bending table has had its price adjusted in the Scrooge's store to its intended value. Uh, so it was updated an hour ago. So it looks like they're not like just one gold anymore. And we're not going to. So if you got the time bending table for one gold, awesome. If not, it's probably a little bit more expensive. Some other quests they fixed. Uh, let's see. Uh, Miss duties auto completes. Some missed duties would automatically complete without the required player action. They fixed that an hour ago too. No, they patched the missed duties autocomplete. Dang it. That was such a good thing. Why would they do that? Uh, let's see. Anything else? Capybara, invisible wall. No, it doesn't look like anything else. And then here's the stuff from the recent updates, like when they changed the bows from yellow back to red so yeah it looks like these first few here are what they really just fixed that makes me sad though so no more miss duties autocomplete and then time bending table back to its original price so oof 
But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't really know what else to say about the whole glitchy pouch situation. It is a shame that we have to wait until next year. So it could be like another 10 to 20 more days until it's fixed. But on the bright side, at least we know it will get fixed and it's confirmed. And also, we're not going to be waiting around for the next, you know, 10 days or so wondering, are they going to fix it? When are they going to fix it? We know that it's... It's going to be next month. And then uh, if it's anything like anything else in the game, I'm sure they're going to give some sort of compensation. They always have with everything in the past. So I definitely think that they will come up with something. So I'm still, I, I'm sorry for all those that were affected. I know you guys had a lot of Dreamlight that was missing and some other stuff. But uh, I do think that they'll make it right. We'll just have to keep playing, keep doing our thing. And then uh, hopefully those days fly by and we get uh, everything sorted. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. We still had some cool stuff with the update. Um, like the whole scramble coin thing. I don't know if that's a big deal to you guys or not. But where it shows the difficulty level, I think that's awesome. I'm very happy that they implemented that. That way we can know if you know someone's like really good or not. We know who to play or not play against. So that's a pretty cool feature. I am curious what Mickey is though really quick actually before we end the video because he was the one that you have to play against. And to me, he seemed difficult. So I feel like Mickey would have to be a level two. And if that's the case, why did they make the starter one for the quest that we have to be a level two character instead of a level one? So let's see what they um, have him down really quickly before we close out video. Uh, Mickey, here he is. He's gonna, it's gonna say he's a level one, but that there's no way. Yeah, see, he's a level one. He was pretty dang tough, though. How is he level one? <laughs> he destroyed most of us. All right, well, if he's level one, then them level three players are literally on the next level. But that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.